My name is Pierre Samuels. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. We're here representing the University of Alabama Metallurgical Materials Engineering Department. I'm Larry Somerville. I'm from Columbus, Mississippi. I'm here to show you micro hardness testing on samples. This right here is the light dimmer. Make sure the light dimmer is fully rotated all the way to the right. This right here is the load time. Make sure the load time is always on the number 10. This right here is the power switch. Make sure it is always switched on before using. This right here is the fuse. Make sure the fuse is always in. Without the fuse, the equipment will not run properly. Uh, now, I'm going to go over the handle movement with you. This handle right here is to move the platform up and down the z-axis. This handle right here is to move the platform back and forth across the x-axis. This handle right here is to move the platform to and from the y-axis. Now that we have the sample placed up underneath the lens, we're going to move the platform about the z-axis so it get closest to the lens without touching the sample, like so. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is perfect. You should also be able to see a small space between the lens and the sample. After you get everything centered with the lens and the sample, make sure that the switch is switched to ocular. Now I'm going to focus the microscope. When you have the sample placed under the microscope, you will see two lines. And with these lines, you want to get them as close together without them touching, like so. You want to leave a small space between them, like just like that. So now, as you see, we have the lines like so. After we have the lines like this, the micro hardness test is going to make an indentation mark like so. This right here is the new hardenation mark. We're going to position the lines right next to the outermost portion of the indentation mark, so it's going to look like so. Okay, now with the right line, we're going to put that on the end of the other side of the new indentation mark. And so this should be a final product. After we have the lines on the left and the right outermost portion of the new indentation mark, we're going to use the indentation mark, the filler adjuster, to measure the length and distance across the new indentation. After you have made your indentation mark, you are ready to find your marker's hardness number. This knob right here is the right filler adjustment knob. With this knob, you will find how many microns long is your indentation mark. Now, the knob is on zero. When you turn this way, the knobs get longer. The more you turn, the higher the microns are. Right below the hardness tester, that's where you will find the hardness tester manual. Also, right below the hardness tester, that will you also find the hardness tester number table. This is the table for the new hardness tester numbers. Our load was 100 grams. Our diagonal measurement for the sample was 46.9. And the way we do it is we go all the way across the table for the 46, and then we go from the 0.9 all the way down until we're able to find 
647. There's no units attached to it, so that is our number, 647. Thank you for watching our video of how to use the Marcus Hardness Test. I hope this video was sufficient enough for you to learn how to do this machine.